So I'm gonna play a quick game. There's a fallen beech tree right behind me going up and down that hill. And there's several mushroom species on that fallen log. I wanna know, are any of these mushrooms worth eating? So it's late January here in Pennsylvania, but it's been pretty warm and rainy. And if all the appropriate environmental conditions align, you might be able to find some choice edible mushrooms. And so there are a couple mushrooms and other fungal species on that log, and I wanna know, are any of these species worth eating? So let's go over and take a look and see what we can find. So this is the first species right here located at the bottom of this beech tree. And this one is Flebia tremulosa. Would you eat Flebia tremulosa? I probably wouldn't eat Flebia tremulosa. I don't know of anybody eating it. I don't think it's toxic or poisonous. It just probably doesn't have much food value. Still, it's an attractive fungus. It's pinkish peach on top and on the bottom has a unique textural design. It has folds or ridges, almost like a chanterelle. So they're not true gills, but more like folds or ridges. And it's an important decomposer of this wood, as are all these species that we will come across. But to answer the question that I proposed in the beginning of this video, this is probably not a fungus that I would consider eating. But let's continue and see if any of the other ones are worth eating. Okay, so here's another mushroom right here that I found. This one kind of looks like an oyster mushroom, and several oyster mushrooms are edible. We have the common oyster mushroom, we have the late fall oyster mushroom. Those make for some good eating. But this one, is oranger and it's hairier than most oyster mushrooms that I come across. And so this one is the mock oyster, Phyllotopsis nigulans. And as I said, it's got a hairier cap, it's orangish, and the gills are orangish on the underside as well. And those characteristics don't align with the common oyster mushroom, which is typically grayish or brownish. And it doesn't align with the late fall oyster, which is typically greenish with an underside that's slightly yellowish, but not orange. This one smells kind of acrid. So, unfortunately, this one isn't really edible either. So we struck out twice, but that's okay. There's still some more mushrooms around here. So let's continue and see what else we can find. So here's a pretty exciting one. You know which one this is right here? This is bear's head tooth. Heresium americanum. Related to lion's mane, and it kind of looks like lion's mane. But where lion's mane doesn't really have any branching to it with those icicle-like spines, this one has branching, so it almost looks like many waterfalls as opposed to just one waterfall coming off the log. And both of those are edible. Lion's mane is definitely a choice edible, and this is a choice edible one right here. But would you eat this specimen right here? You know, typically you find this in the fall. I see a lot of them in October, but right now it's a little late, you know. We're approaching late January right now, and so you're not really looking for any heresium species in Pennsylvania. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave this one behind, unless I'm gonna risk getting sick from eating this one right here, because it looks a little too old. But still, it's an interesting find. I'm not too surprised that I discovered it here because this is a beech tree, and typically I'm finding it in woods with a lot of beech trees. But I will come back next year, and hopefully I will find one in the same exact spot. So unfortunately, we struck out three times. There might be another species. Let's go see if there is another one that we can find, and hopefully we can eat that one. So I took a look around some more and I did not find any more fruiting species today. So we looked at three, we looked at Flebia tremulosa, we looked at the mock oyster, and we looked at a Heresium americanum bear's head tooth. And we could have eaten the bear's head tooth if we were here maybe about a month or two earlier. So no mushrooms that we could eat on this log. That's okay because honestly, right before I filmed myself going up and down this log, I did find a whole bag full of oyster mushrooms fresh oyster mushrooms as well, Pleurotus ostriatus. These are pretty easy to find right now because it's been kind of mild and rainy. So if you live in this particular area near Pennsylvania, get out and see if you can find some oyster mushrooms because I bet you will. I'm also looking for Enoki or Flamulina volutipes. I've seen it here earlier this week and so I'll continue to look and see if I can find some more of that. But I'm not too disappointed that I didn't find any on this log right here because this is just one among many that occupy this forest here. Thanks for watching this video, I appreciate it. Stay tuned next time for another edition of Are Any of These Mushrooms Worth Eating?